Hello and welcome to another video in the Source Nexus Suite product line. Today we're excited to share with you Source Nexus Router. Uh, router is a powerful solution that is capable of so many things that I wasn't quite sure how to describe it necessarily without using cold terms like it's a router or it's a patch bay or it's a virtual cable. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of the solutions inside Nexus Suite sound like that, but they're all quite different from each other. So I hope this example um, shows you some of the uh, powerful new things that you can do with all of these things combined. So just to give you a bit of a tour of my my screen uh, area here, I've got on the upper left side here the Source Nexus gateway. Um, this is the virtual browser environment in which uh, most people would be hosting their virtual sessions and having guests attend. Um, the gateway is connected to my Pro Tools session up here on the right through the Source Nexus Review plugin. The Nexus Review plugin lives on, on my master mix. Um, it's just simply in the one plugin slot. I don't really have any mastering happening on this um, other than this one plugin that is doing some housekeeping. So um, when I speak, you can see that it's here, and that's because I've assigned my talkback microphone here. Um, and if I were to press play, you would hear music. Okay, so that music is flowing through Nexus Review into the gateway. It's up here. My input device is to Nexus Broadcast. So that's a really simple way of taking a tap out of Pro Tools and bringing it over to the gateway. Um, that's Review's primary function is to do that and it does it very well. So the beautiful thing about router is it allows me to think of outside of the box, if you will, and, and get into um, some of the hardware that I have around me. So if this diagram down here in the bottom right um, is sort of representing the audio interface I have. So I have a 16 channel uh, audio interface with mic pre's on every channel. And most of those channels are instruments and some of them are stereo and some of them are mono some of them are returns but I kind of tend to want to be able to hear all of it at any time it's just the way I have it set up there's a lot of instruments and sometimes I start playing on one and I start what does it sound like with that one and I don't want to have to go in and open up inputs and in pro tools to start listening to them and you know fortunately my audio interface has a, a sort of monitoring routing environment where I'm able to um, over loudspeakers hear all those inputs anyways, but when I go and try to recreate that flow inside of a virtual call, uh, a lot of that disappears. So router allows me to kind of mimic that experience inside, inside of Gateway. So I've got all my instruments routing down into um, the two Nexus broadcasts. And you can see the actual router interface is over here and it's live and the meters are bouncing. So, you know, when I speak, um, the, or better yet, when I play, you'll see it passing down through. When I speak, it's not passing down through. And that's because if we go and look at this diagram, I'm not routing these cables into the device. Um, and that's because those are my microphones, which I'm using for talking. And I'm using those for communication. And I'd rather have those live inside the gateway in a discrete communication channel because there's a lot of benefits to that. So, um, to get to that view, I can click on here, and yeah, you can see this looks more like my uh, my diagram over on the other side. Um, if you flip back to this view, you can see that the device is the Goliath USB, and then the output device is two Nexus broadcast. So that's super handy because it allows me to play back from Pro Tools. This could be, you know, playback. I might be able to feel it out and be like, and some instruments around me and talk about some ideas. How did that sound? You know, now we can be collaborating in real time and not necessarily thinking about recording. This is just live ideas, live discussion, direction, all those wonderful things. So that's how you can do it and keep it all clean and separated. Um, you know, if I get email notifications or anything else like that, it's not going to come into this because it's not part of the route that I want intentionally. So, um, you know, a lot of people might just go into their Mac output settings and set a device there. And the problem is that you no longer get to monitor that through your in, your ideal monitoring path. So this is a great solution for that. 
Now there is another solution here, or a very, very practical need for router that I, I'm sure a lot of people have encountered before um, that have ever tried to do a screen capture. So in just to make this video alone, I had to this conundrum of, okay, I've got all these things up and they're all working as they should if I was just using the gateway, but now I need to record my screen and I need to record all of the audio that I'm sending to the gateway also locally. And in an ideal world, anyone that's connected to this call, I need the audio that they're saying too to come back into my system as part of the screen capture. So if I open up Nexus uh, Router, you'll see that I actually have, uh, when I expanded it there, you can see that there's more de devices. Um, and so I just created, um, I multiplied these devices that already existed, that are already being used for the call, and just sort of rerouted them to a device that I had created in the Nexus control panel called Screen Capture. So I have two Nexus chat going to the screen capture. Everything that I'm saying is going to the screen capture. Two Nexus broadcast, everything I'm playing through Pro Tools, through my instruments in front of me, all flowing through to Nexus broadcast. And then if I had guests on here, anything they said would be coming from Nexus chat and also going to the screen capture. So there's a couple use cases for Nexus router in one what I hope is short and digestible video. Uh, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I, I look forward to hearing um, you know, what, what everyone thinks and, and how they might want to use router. And I'm sure there are questions. So um, yeah, really excited to get this in everyone's hands and, and we'll see you all soon. Happy holidays.